If you were the person that wasn't really involved in the finances during the marriage, I can understand why after marriage, how you may feel a little bit intimidated and overwhelmed by the management of finances since you had really not much experience before then. Well, don't worry. This video is all about how to take charge of your finances. And then you'll wonder all along, like why wasn't I a part of this to begin with? So let's roll up our sleeves and let's get down to the key things that you need to do to become more financially independent. The more you take a hold over your finances, the more powerful and intentional you'll feel with your life. So I've developed five key steps that you can follow to help you become more financially independent. So let's get going. The first step is you need to examine your financial independence. So you need to get an understanding of the lay of the land and all of the financial documents that you have in the, in, in the accounts. If you don't understand the lay of the land and your current financial situation, then it's really difficult to gain control over and start planning on how to be better with money. Your livelihood depends on this understanding of your finances. So gather your tax returns, your retirement account information, your investment accounts, have a full understanding of your income and how much money you have in bank accounts and investment accounts. Be sure to close off any joint accounts that you may have with your ex-spouse and start a new bank account with just your name. So gather your documents, evaluate all of your accounts, make sure you've shut off um, any joint accounts and have your own individual bank account. That is the first step. The second step is creating a budget. Okay, there used to be a time when I used to feel so nervous around the topic of budgets, but now is not the time anymore. You're on your own, so don't fret, don't sweat about it. Open up Microsoft Excel and let's get going. And by going, I mean make a list of all of your expenses. So be sure to include things like gifts, childcare, personal care, I created a sample budget Excel spreadsheet for you that you can download to kickstart your discovery. My spreadsheet will break down things like projected versus actual costs. It'll help you gather expenses ranging from housing to transportation to insurance, food, children, pet care, personal care costs, and more. So pull out your bank account information, your credit card information, and while you have the spreadsheet open, Start evaluating your accounts and where the expenses are going and fill out that spreadsheet. It'll take about five to seven hours, so carve out some time, put on you know, some nice relaxing music, maybe a candle and a cup of tea, and just make sure you go easy with yourself while you're trying to figure out all this information. It will take time, but it is something that you have to do, so creating a budget, let's do it. The third step that you really need to think about is reassessing your financial goals. So, for example, you need to answer questions like if you have children, hey, how are you gonna save up towards um, a college fund? Or how much should be in your emergency fund? Do you even need an emergency fund? I think you do, so what is that amount? Do you have debt that needs to be paid off? If so, how much would that be? Um, how will you pay it off? And in what period of time would you like to pay it off? Is there a certain age that you would like to retire by? And how much money do you need in order to retire by that certain age? So these are just some of the questions you need to answer. Maybe there's other thoughts you may have in terms of really um, reassessing your financial goals because things are different now as a single lady. The fourth thing that you really need to think about is really thinking about your income and if it's enough for you. If you feel like your current salary won't support you, there is no shame in getting a second job to pad that income. I know several people who on top of their full-time job are Amazon grocery shoppers or Uber drivers. You gotta do what you gotta do in order to make yourself feel a little bit more secure when it comes to money. Because again, you have no one else to rely on but yourself. The fifth step that you need to take in terms of really gaining financial independence is gaining a better understanding of your credit. So trying to rebuild your credit. It's important to build your credit history with just your name now. Before it used to be with you and your spouse and now it's just your name, your credit history. Building your credit score will help you when it comes to getting a loan or purchasing a home. So there are a couple of hacks that you can do to ensure that 
um, you're doing all the right things and building your credit history and increasing your credit score. One example is, is hey, setting auto payments for your credit card. Don't just wait for the bill to come in and then you submit payment. It's very easy to forget sometimes. So setting those auto payments. I know there are some hacks in terms of like if you pay, if you do multiple payments per month, that could also help with your credit score to go up. But just make sure that you pay those credit cards on time. So one of the hacks you can do with credit cards is, is if you increase your credit limit and see if you can lower your interest rates, that could really help your credit score. So ask for a credit increase after you've been a card holder for about six months with a track record of making payments and see if your credit card company will increase your credit limit. So in summary, taking control of your finances will help you become more independent, more intentional, and more powerful with your life. I highly recommend that this is something that you t take close attention to and it's not something that you're lax about. If you ignore it, it will still be there. I know that many times it's like, hey, ignorance is bliss, but in this case, ignorance is not bliss. So take a hold of it. In summary, we've got five manageable steps to help you do that. The first one is examine your financial independence, really understand the lay of the land, gather all of your financial accounts and documents and take a look at those. Second is create a budget. Don't forget to download the budget spreadsheet in the description below. Third, reassess your financial goals. Do you need an emergency fund? If so, how much is it? Do you need to pay for college if you have children? When would you like to retire? Just some of the questions. But really come up with a financial goal. There's no harm with that. And number four is if you need to earn more income. Again, no shame in having a second job if it, that means that it will help you reach your financial goals and make you feel more secure. And fifth, if you can, try to increase your credit score. So make sure that with credit card companies that you make those payments on time, if not going above and beyond and paying multiple times per month. I hope you found this video on financial independence after divorce to be helpful. If you did, please like the video below and subscribe to my channel so that you can be notified of all the new videos that I create. Again, my mission for the House of Women is to help you transition through life's hardest moments. And one of those hardest moments that we were going through could be divorce. I hope you found this video to be helpful. Thank you so much.